everyone, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have created a date night inspired hair and makeup get ready with me. So I was going to curl my hair, but then I kind of got a little bit scared that I would stuff the entire tutorial up by stuffing up curling my hair because I'm not that experienced. So there's always the chance that I will stuff up. So I think I'm going to do my um, curly hair in another video or maybe an entire separate video showing you how I curl my hair or like that photo that you guys really wanted to see where my hair was curly. I think I might do an entire separate video on that or maybe include it in another get ready with me or something like that. But today I have created this. So I have partnered with Numi to bring you guys this video. So I'm going to have a promo code in this general area somewhere on the screen. And I will also leave it in the description box down below. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, then the option is there. But if you are interested in how I achieved this look, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start just by straightening my hair today. And I'm just going to use this Numi straightening one. It comes in the 3-in-1 Curl Jam set. And I just have it at the highest thing. <laughs> 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So my hair's a little bit on the thick side, so I just like to straighten it in three layers. I'm undecided if I want to curl my hair in this tutorial yet, because I feel like I might stuff up the whole tutorial when I curl it. I actually have a straightener story. Um, so I have like this massive scar right here on my arm. You probably can't see it, but a couple years ago, back when I used to work at Kmart, back in the days in like grade nine, um, I, you know how you just have like reflexes? You go to grab something when you drop it. Well, I dropped my hair straightener. My first reaction was just to try and like grab it. So I grab the like this bit of the straightener, the thing, I grab it, it flicks back up, burns my arm, and then I have to go to work like that, but I didn't like bend it up. They bandaged it up at work and people were coming and telling me like, oh, I'm going to pray for you and stuff. Like, I hope you're okay. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, like thinking that I self-harmed and cut myself because there's a big bandage around my arm. And then some people thought I got a tattoo, even though I was like in grade nine, I was like, no, not really legal, but yeah. That's my little story. Kind of an anticlimax. But straightening is pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to kind of like go really fast over this because it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now the hair is straight. Am I in focus? I really hope that I am. Okay. So anyway, let's get started on the face. Uh, I don't know if I want to do my eyebrows first today. Okay, I think I'm going to do my eyeshadow first because I am going to be doing winged liner. And personally, I find it so much easier to clean up winged liner and stuff like that if you stuff it up. If you do your eyeshadow first, because then if you stuff it up, you can just like... I'm sorry if there's background noise, my brother's trying to entertain Hunter. Um, yeah, because then you can just like wipe it off and you don't have to worry about messing up the rest of your face or like taking off any of the rest of your face makeup. So personally, when I do winged liner, I just like to do it before I do the rest of my face. And I'm just priming my eyes today using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm just going to set that with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Transparent Powder and this little um, Models Prefer, I think it's a highlight brush but it doesn't have a name on it anymore.
And I'm also just going to add a bit of highlighter to my eyes. And I'm using this Becca highlighter in the shade Opal, which I think I might haul. I don't know if I'm going to make the haul yet. I'm thinking of doing a haul on some skincare and new makeup that I got. Actually, I don't know why I put that on because I am putting eyeshadow on. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to have like glimmering little eyelids. For the eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, just the original one. And I'm first going to pick up this color here. I don't have names because this one doesn't have names. I feel like my eyeshadow always applies better to this eye because I have like a more defined crease in this eye and this eye doesn't have as much of a defined crease. It just sounds weird. I um, got in a car chase today. <laughs> Not a car chase actually, but I got in kind of like a little car fight I guess, which was so funny. So there was like this um, Bogan dude in like his little Holden Ute. No, it wasn't a Holden. I don't know what it was. It was like one of those Completely, okay, so it was like one of those completely black ones and the ute part of it, it like had the hard bit on top that like blends in with the rest of the car if that makes sense. So that's the kind of car he was driving. And I was in this lane here and he was in this lane here and this lane had to like, it either had to turn off or they had to come into my lane. And he was like a little bit behind my car and I already knew, I already knew what he was going to do and I knew that he was going to try and like speed up to get in front of me so like before he even started to do that I like started getting close enough to the car in front of me that I wasn't tailgating but far away enough that I wasn't tailgating but close enough so that that guy couldn't you know like get in front of me because I knew and I'm like I'm not having time for your bogan shit today it's not happening you know like you can just get in the normal lane with the rest of us instead of trying to overtake everyone so he was like a little bit behind me, like say the head of my car was there and then the head of his car was like here and um, yeah so he did exactly what I thought he was going to do and he started like speeding up to try and get into the tiny little gap in front of me and I was like is this guy serious? So I was like no and I just sped up closer to the car in front of me and then he um, and then he started like trying to swerve into my car and I was like what the actual fuck is this guy doing? Like just slow down and get behind me because there's so much space behind me. That's what you should have done in the first place. So I was like nah, like I am not slowing down for this guy. And then, by the way, I'm just going to pick up this colour here now. Like a darker brown. And um, yeah, I was like no, I'm not slowing down for this guy. It's not happening. And then... He, keep, he literally like three times tries to swerve into my car and I was like beeping at him because I was like shit he's gonna like pick my car up <laughs> like you can turn off before I'm gonna let you get in um, I sound like a bit of a dick but I just don't like when people do that I don't like when they like literally he had like three entire kilometers where he could have got into my yeah he had like three entire kilometers where he could have gotten oh my god this here where he could have gotten into my lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just is one of those annoying people. And so eventually he has to get behind me because either he had to turn off or he had to get behind me because I was not letting the guy in. And he gets behind me and starts tailgating me. So I was like, screw this guy. Like, whenever someone tailgates me, I either go really slow or I stomp on the brakes. So this guy was like really close to me, giving me the finger. So I stomped on my brakes, gave him the finger, and he was like getting <laughs> real mad. It was so funny. And I had Kerry in the car as well. Yeah, I just stomped on my brakes and he was like tailgating me so hard. And then he got into the lane next to me and we don't know what he did. I think he was like trying to whip my car. Like literally brought something out of the car and was like trying to hit my car. And me and Kerry were like, what the, f what the hell is going on? Like what is this guy actually trying to do right now? It was ridiculous. And then he drove off and then... Um, some girl came up behind me and like gave me the thumbs up and I was like, thanks. <laughs> Another problem I always have with my eyeshadow is, I don't know why, but this bit right here is always way darker than everywhere else and I don't know why. Okay, so now I'm just going to pick up this 227 um, Luxe Soft Definer Brush from Zoeva and then I'm going to pick up this um, really dark brown up in the corner here and I'm just going to really like subtly apply that. Like, not very hard at all. 
What is he even barking at? I bet he's barking at a cat. The cat can jump in places that Hunter can't, so Hunter gets real annoyed. And he's like, come down here and fight me like a man. And Ash is just like looking at him like, And now I'm just gonna add a bit of this like cream color here with my Sigma E25 brush and I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. Okay, so for my eyeliner today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and my 317 Winged Liner Brush from Zoeva. I just have to find it. Actually, no, I'm gonna use my, my um, NARS, my NARS number 47 brush, and I'm gonna try and do this off on camera, but I'm probably gonna stuff it up because I am not Houdini. <laughs> I don't even think they're even, but I don't even care at this point. I'm just gonna tight line my eyelids, my waterline, no, tight line, my tight line, with this Rebecca Stella um, My Dramatic Midnight Coal Pencil. Alright, let's go in with foundation. I'm gonna do it a little bit. Let's mix it up today. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start off with my Makeup Forever Smoothing Step 1 Equalizing Primer. And I'm just gonna warm it up in between my fingers. First. Also, my brother wants to make a smoothie right now. I hope you guys can hear what I'm saying, but now I'm going to be trying this Becca foundation. This is the Becca Aqualuminous perfecting foundation in the shade light and I'm hoping this is the right color for me because it was the right color for me yesterday and that was before I put on a fresh tan so let's just have our fingers crossed that it's not too light here I'm just gonna shake it and then I love this ready see that pop out and then you have to hold that to get the foundation so I'm just gonna take one pump of that but isn't it crazy that the second lightest shade is my shade for when I'm tan like that's pretty dark for the second lighter shade. I'm feeling like they need some more colors up in there. I also got the um, Backlight Perfecting Primer, which I really wanted to use, but I didn't want to like go too dewy, you know? Oh yeah, it's a bit too light. Yeah, my face compared to my shoulder. Oh well, we'll work with some bronzer, it's fine. For concealer today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles in the shade Fair Claire because I just ran out of light pale, so I guess we're going highlighted today. There's like a sunset on my head. Like, I feel like that's what the horizon looks Actually, no! From my nose to my forehead, it looks like a palm tree. And today I'm going to um, set my under eyes in the highlighted areas with my Laura Messier Translucent Loose Powder. To set the rest of my face today, I'm going to be mixing these two. My Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca in the shade Opal. And also my NARS Pressed Powder in the shade Beach. Oh wait, that's my Laguna Bronzer. Hold up. I'm not going to be using my Laguna Bronzer to set my face. Okay, so I'm going to use my Rimmel London Stay Matte Transparent Powder. And I'm just going to dip the brush in there twice and then dip the brush in here twice. And just set my face so that it stays nice and fresh and dewy looking.
Now for bronzer, I'm going to be using my NARS Laguna bronzer, which is just this one here. And I'm just going to use a Models Prefer ugh, powder brush. And I'm going to face the brush up into the cheekbone so that it kind of um, gets into the cheekbone more, if that makes any sense. And while bronzing, it kind of gives a little bit of contour. So now for blush, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Luminous Flush blush. It looks like that. It's one of the ambient lighting blushes. And I'm just going to be using my Morphe M509 brush. And now for highlighter, I'm going to be using... Oh, I feel like I say and too much. And, and... Oh, wait. I forgot to contour my nose. Okay, so now for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Opal highlighter from Becca. This top is like way thick, thicker than I thought it would be. So weird. And as always, I'm using my Morphe M510 brush. And now, finally, I'm going to... And, and now, and now, and, and now. Okay, finally, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows just using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony, and I'm just gonna skip through this real quickly because um, I have a brow routine using the exact same products. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the. Why does my camera keep going off center? But if you are interested in how I do fill in my brows and stuff like that, then I will leave a link in the description box down below if you want to check that out. Before I forget, really quickly, I just want to add a little bit of my thingo, my highlighter. <laughs> and just highlight my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the chocolate bar palette again and take that middle, the medium brown color. I'm just gonna take my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. Now I'm just taking this Rebecca Stella pencil again and I'm gonna apply it into my waterline, but then I'm gonna like kind of dab my finger on it so it's not too intense and too black. And now taking my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So I'm going to apply, I believe these are my Queen Bees. My nose is watering. While my lashes dry, I'm going to apply my lipstick and I'm going to be applying Atlantic City from Ofra Cosmetics. But first, I'm going to be lining them with my Rebecca Stella Knockout Lip Pencil. It's really sharp. So that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.